Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Let's talk about today's video, Solius. If you are new around here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. And let's talk about unlocking Solius at five stars. Minimum requirements for unlocking Solius at five stars. As you can see, I have completed it. I three starred the event with this lineup and it's if you want Solius this time around you absolutely need to get him but this video is for people who are new to the game who have not been able to get him even at five stars and at five stars he is still an amazing character and will get you a go a long way to helping you out and helping you get to where you're looking to go in this game but let's talk about what the minimum requirements are really really quickly you need to be gear seven you have to ha be level 56 gear seven up to as high as you can go and then you have to have six on rantha you have to have her skills at six or um her basic at six six five five and five um Martha's kind of the same thing six six five and five all right corcoram six six five and five uh, with Trumgar six six four four and four, with Mar six 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 and three, and that's where you need to be. Those are the basic requirements. So if you're here for this video and you, all you wanted to see was what the basic requirements were, that's what they are. But let's get a little bit more in depth about what you need. So at gear seven, for some reason or another, if you're fifty five or fifty four and you don't have this gear piece, each this gear piece for uh, for Rantha, for Mortha, uh, for Corcrum, and for Trumgar are just give a lot more health, physical damage, magic damage, magic armor, and magic damage. And they just, for some reason or another, it's just absolutely necessary. If you don't have that piece, you're just going to get smashed. That's what I've seen. I've played it a ton of times over and over and over and over and over again. And there's just no way to do it. It's just not even RNG dependent. At that point, you're just going to get smashed. When you put this piece on, you go to 56 because you have to be 56 to have this piece. Then all of a sudden things start to work it's rng dependent it really is rng dependent but you it, it will work and there's this divide i have a strategy that i'm going to uh to give to you today to make sure that works and show you how to get it done it's still rng dependent but you you can do it with these these minimum requirements so let's go back to rantha and let's talk about her runes i ruined her this way nothing everything's pretty basic speed in the northeast rune damage up here all right if you get a little speed that's great but you don't have to get a little extra speed here more health everything's health 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 on rantha if you can get health down here that's even better right you want battle poo to have as much health as possible because you're going to use him to sack get for as a sacrifice he's super squishy anyway so the more health you give rantha the more health he's going to have so health all across the board and a speed in the northeast rune Mortha, you want to have four damage, four damage runes, a rune set of damage, and then I you can go health. I did that. She's super squishy, and I put shields on her um, and damage. You could go health instead. That might be a better way to go, but you can do it the way I have it here. Uh, and once again, you have to have these damage runes, right? You don't necessarily have to. I actually screwed up and had a health rune down here in the gameplay that I will show you a sum of. Uh, that but we're also going to go and do it live as well while i'm recording the video because i can show you kind of what the strategy looks like and then i'll put the gameplay in the in the back uh, so keep in mind in that uh, but this will definitely make it easier once again the abilities six six five and five Next on to Corcrum. Corcrum, same type of thing. We're looking at him, but we're going, we need damage runes and we're going to go crit chance uh, here. We want to have a higher crit chance because you want him to hit pretty big. Um, you know, speed here, but then you want to focus on your secondaries as potency. Potency is very, very important. Potency here, speed and health and shields, right? Potency, speed, health, and shields. You're just weak at this level. You're weak. You need you need health and shields and you need potency. Speed's not necessary, but if you have it, like I got real lucky on this one here at five speed, but it's got shields and crit chance and tenacity and even, you know, and damage. And I went damage here because you'd really just just need the damage um, once again more potency more shields tenacity and damage with the armor so and his abilities are six six five and five uh, 
Trumgar. I just went all health. All health, right? You're looking at all health. You know, you get a little bit of speed in here, right? More shields on the bottom, right? More health here. And this probably would be better if it were health instead of shields because he's got a ton of health, right? If you could find a rune here to put him in shield and, and health percentage instead, that would be better. But as I said, I did it with this, and so I'm going to leave it at that. It doesn't have to be optimized, but it's certainly nice. You do need potency in this northwest rune. And if you can focus on potency in your secondaries, do so, right? It's important, but as you can see, I'm not... I don't have a terribly high potency, uh, 26%, which is not great, but it's still enough. If you can get that number up higher, you're going to get a lot more stuns, right? Because when he does stun, he only has a 35% chance to stun. But when he hits that, you want to make sure you're landing. And so it's important to have at least this potency here, and you could have more potency as well. Let's go on to Mar. Mar is super, super important. You need six, 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 and three. Yes, the devil's number of six, six, six here, but you absolutely have to have it. Mar does a ton of damage for you in this event, and you want to go all crit chance. It's it's not even, it's not even, you just have to go all crit chance. I know people say, what about damage? No, you don't really need that. You need to be critting. Um, you need to be critting. And in, even here, I went crit chance instead of... Uh, crit damage it's probably crit damage is probably better um to be perfectly honest it probably is better but i didn't do that and the reason why i didn't do that is because i want him to crit i want his criticals to get up right if you have 48 percent six percent i mean it's 42 you'll see i crit a ton with him and you want to do that especially because of his damage increase and crit increase and damage increase here that he gets and so you want him to crit because you want this ability, you want your this ability here, right? You don't have to put this to six necessarily, but I would. 30% extra physical damage is a lot, right? You're not going to get the extra cooldown because there are only three characters anyway. So, but 30% physical damage is a lot of physical damage. And so I recommend you just to do it, even though you're not going to use him much for anything else in the game except for the orc side of the tower if you're trying to get solace at five stars and you're level 56 right around that area you gotta put these things up this is the absolute minimum the lowest you can be to be able to get it and then if you if you happen to have hard work the one other thing that i did not did not stress and i do need to stress is that you have to be at seven stars um i know that's kind of sucky too but you have to be at seven stars on these characters so if you're level 56 and you're not seven starred you're gonna struggle you, you might be able to get it but you gotta be at seven stars as well you might be able to do it at six stars uh but you're I, it's a struggle with seven star characters right so that's what we're looking at so let's go ahead and go into the event and uh, as I said, you're going to want to go in here with your team and it's and it's super it's super important to understand that this is RNG dependent. But I'm going to explain the strategy that I have. The strategy here is, is that you're not going to taunt right away with Trumgar. You're actually going to drop Battle Poo and you're going to focus on Soleus the best you can. So you're going to go straight after Soleus here. You're going to go and attack Soleus, as you can see. You're not going to use this. You want to try to stun Little Batty or Soleus. But I find that trying to stun Little Batty is the way to go. And that allows you, she will not taunt. She will also not strip the buffs. And what she does on her first turn is she hits, she, uh, hits everyone and uh, strips this taunt off. And you don't want the taunt stripped because you want Battle Poo to be sacrificed. So you want to go back over to Soleus and hit him. See how we apply burn. Burn is super important. Right now... All right, Battle Poo's gone. We wanted Battle Poo to die, right? And we're going to go ahead and attack Solius again. He's eventually going to taunt. You can't prevent the taunt, right? But it's kind of a slow game, so we're going to go right back after Solius again. Okay, so now we're here. We have we can use these abilities. We don't really need to heal right now, but what I do is the personal curse, and it's going to give shields to Corcoran. That's going to happen every time just that way. 
Then you come in and you hit Shield of the People. This is important. Now we're starting to get to RNG. But this is why you want potency on Corcoran and you want to be able to add that burn because when you go in here with Spectral Beast, a stunned and burn, a stunned and burn target will deal additional damage. Well, he's not, she's not, he's not stunned and he's not burned, right? So he's not going to get a hundred percent extra damage. So we're going to go ahead and just hit him with a basic. We're going to apply another burn to him. That's we want that. Okay. So did you see here? It went by fast. It went fast, but he has now cast his AOE, and this is super important. We want, we want him to cast his AOE before we ever heal with, with, with Mortha, right? That's important because it's a waste of a heal. It's a waste of a heal if we do it that way, right? So as you can see, we're I'm talking you right through it. So we want to go ahead and target our lowest, our lowest level person. And we're going to hit. Now, here we go again. Another RNG moment, right? We're going to go ahead and use Storm. 50% chance to stun, uh, you know, everybody, right? Of course, we have to have the potency, but let's see what happens. Boom. Look, we got, we got it. And this is why potency is so important. We've stunned Soleus and we've stunned Freezard. It's important that they're not hitting us right now, right? Like I said, it's RNG dependent, but you can push this to be in your own RNG, all right? You can push it. And so now we're going to go ahead and use this will hurt real bad, right? Boom. Look, see, we crit. Every single one of them was a crit. Now, we do not have a taunter right now, and Mortha's down. Battle Poo has to, become, has to come out, so we use Battle Poo. And it really does go this way every single time, See, so, right? It, in what we're doing... You may not get the stuns. You may not be able to do that, but that's what you're looking to do, right? So let's go ahead and attack and see. We didn't get a stun there, right? Soleus is hurt, but, you know, we're just going to keep pounding away on Soleus. We're going to once again use Lava Boulder here. We're going to try to apply the burn. Boom, another another burn applied, right? Very nice. We're going to keep pounding away at the tank. Look at that. Another 10,000. 10,000 is a lot, a lot of damage um, at 56 because we're just critting constantly, right? And so we're going to use Hunter's Volley here. There we go. We got some good hits, and we're just kind of dwindling them down. We want to dwindle down as much as we can for Soleus. All right, we're going to attack again. Right, we got kind of lucky there. That can add sometimes, can add, uh, um, what is it called? Uh, missing, right? Blindness. And so now we're, we're looking rough, we're looking rough, but we're going to go ahead and taunt and we have one more turn before, before we can heal up. So we're going to go back to Soleus and we're going to hit Soleus again. Soleus puts his, uh, puts cheat death on here. He often will cast that on someone other than himself, which is why you want to kind of target him. So we attack, we gain more health, right? More health. That's why, you know, critting all the time is real nice because he has a pretty good life steal. Um, and then we're going to go right back at him and put another, or try to apply another burn. We got another stun. This is really, really good, right? We're getting lucky, but we set ourselves up to get lucky. That's the point, right? We're setting ourselves up to get lucky. Martha's going to take another turn and she's going to end up healing. Now we're kind of hoping the battle poo will die before then, but probably won't, right? But now down goes Soleus. Soleus is now done. Soleus is now done. We have Freezard stunned here, right? Little Batty is annoying. I'm going, because he's stunned, right? I'm going to go after Little Batty. And this is the reason why, because look what he has on him right now. Physical and magic armor damage is up. His tenacity is up. His speed is up. His physical damage is up. Every, any, right? He, he's got all this other stuff. Uh, but he can't dodge and he can't counterattack and he can't assist others right now because he's, because he's stunned. But, because he's stunned, he's kind of neutralized, so we're going to go right after little Batty, right? Booyah. That's kind of what we were hoping for, right? Now we have them both stunned, but little Batty's still weaker because she doesn't have all the armor ups and that sort of thing, right? And so we're going to go ahead and attack her again, try to get her lower. Now here we are. This is why Mortha's really just bad, right? I got to heal, and there's people I need to heal, right? I need to heal her. I need to heal Mar, right? 
And so we're going to go ahead and heal, and we're going to focus on her because we want her to get most of it. But it's possible Battle Poo is going to end up getting a lot of healing here, and we can't guarantee that Mars is going to get hit. But we want we want to make sure that you know that she's here and living and that sort of thing. So there we go, we got it. Mar got hit. It's so RNG dependent. If you really think that Mar needs to be there, um, which you probably do, folk just target him and hope hope she dies in a lot of my other runs she died and it wasn't an issue um and so we'll go ahead and hit our increase here now because freezard's up we want to go ahead and start applying burn we're gonna go ahead and apply a burn to him we're going to attack him for a second because she's still stunned right freezard's a real pain in the butt and so we want to attack another twelve thousand damage to him that's a lot of damage Right, and now we're gonna go ahead and use second wind. And the reason why we're gonna use second wind here is we want the regeneration. We want him to get up, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we could try to go for the stun here, uh, but we want we want to play it safe, and we want him to have ha gained the rest of his health back because Paddle Poo is going to have a taunt, right? So here's what we have now. We we're now low. They have low health. We have kind of low health. We got to figure out what we want to do. We're going to go ahead and attack him with Battle Poo. Here we go again. Storm. We could get lucky. We could not get lucky, but we got to, we're going to go ahead and hit them both, right? We did, we ended up stunning um, Freezard. Now, once again, I mentioned we have a taunt coming from the war. You really have to pay attention to these things, and we're now going to taunt with Battle Poo. The reason that we're going to taunt with Battle Poo is we want. We want little baddie to attack him. If our Trumgar, which does look like he's going to go first, is going to end up having a taunt available, we won't use it. Uh, but let's go after Freezard again. He cheated death, right? He cheated death, and now we're going to go, okay, what do we want? We have a taunt up on Battle Poo. He's got it up for a whole nother turn, so we're going to just attack. It's a big hit, big, big hit, right? We got pretty lucky on that one. Another big hit. See, Battle Poo's down. Cast Battle Poo again. Do you see how we did that? We cast Battle Poo again. Now we have the burn, and he's almost dead. Right? Almost dead. Now we can cast Taunt. And here we go again. We're going to go ahead and hit Mortha. And now we can hit Volley of Arrows. And she's down. We're going to go right back after here. I'm pretty sure we got this one done. Right? And yes... We got some RNG on our side, right? We got some stuns when we needed it. We got um, we got stuns when we needed it. We got other things we needed. It's not always going to work that way, but that's the strategy. You have to make sure you're managing your taunts. You have to make sure that you're managing um, your abilities, right? And that sort of thing. So um, let's go ahead and flip over. Let's go ahead and flip over to my other screen here. And what I have up on the other screen is me coming in. And I'm going to flip over now. So we're looking at gameplay that I did at level 54. And I'm going to let you see this is the same type of strategy. But at level 54, I get destroyed. Absolutely get destroyed. Uh, so let's see. We have a lot less things. As you can see, my character's level 54. I have to look up at the screen over here. Or I got to look over here at this screen, right? And as you saw there, I taunted and I shouldn't have, right? It took me a while to develop the strategy because I didn't know exactly what I needed to do. But once I realized what the strategy was, right, it didn't matter. You don't have enough damage. Um, even though I had the same runes and that sort of stuff, I didn't have enough damage to complete it. So as you can see, I'm just getting smashed. Plus, as you can see, we because we didn't get the taunt on little baddie, she stripped the buff, uh, the taunt off of, um, off of battle poo, and then we had to use our heal way too soon, and so people are just getting hurt, and we're just not doing anything to anyone's health, right? And so that that's really kind of tough. That's a really kind of tough thing to deal with. And you're going to see that they're just going to come in. I'm going to use this and it's not going to do a whole lot. Uh, and then Morth is dead. Um, and now I'm trying to taunt with Tromgar. And it's it, we're, we're working. We're getting, we're attacking Freezard. But it's just really not working. And the reason why it's not going to work, uh, primarily, the reason why it's not going to work is because he's just going to get healed. And that's kind of what happens is, 
Soleus just heals. Um, and then Freeze Art, and then there's some bad RNG and some misses, but there you go. Soleus heals him again. Um, and you just end up just not being able to get this done. Uh, and it and it and it sucks. <laughs> it it's not fun to have to deal with. And so if we come back over, if we come back over here and we go into some of the another another run of it, I'm gonna pull it up here as well. Same type of thing. Right? We're we're just kind of getting smashed again. Um, so if I pull it back up here on the screen, you'll can see where I'm now trying to attack. I'm trying now trying to attack uh soleus and soleus is we're doing a good job at getting soleus attacked but we're just we're just too squishy we're not getting enough damage out and we're just getting attacked too much right this is why it's important to try to land that stun right away and then of course rng i i get i'm missing i'm not i'm getting i'm getting the blinds and that sort of thing so really really tough really really hard to do but you can see that the strategy does work as soon as you get to level 56, as soon as you get to level 56 and do um, the things that I had talked about, it really kind of works. And so that's kind of where we're at uh, here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, throw a comment down below. This is what you need to be able to get five star soleus you have to be at 56 and you have to have those abilities if you are new around here please hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell drop a comment down below and we'll see you next time when gaming and law intersect